They really be wanting you to lose like he just bought the Holyfield Mansion. Damn. He bought a jet. Damn. Oh, no. Fourth annual car show. Damn. <laughs> I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question. Um, small talk. But ultimately, the question that should have been asked was, you jumped out there during the beef, the West Coast versus the Canadian. And I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who, who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know. I thought loyalty. I thought... Uh, but you did shut the fuck up once the Canadian took the L. You got totally quiet. You did. So. They can't pay you more than they can pay you because the room can't hold enough people for them to give you the money to, to stay there. You can stay until we are squatter. Holding on to the leg of the chair that they move. Mm. But that's what it is. It's just a part of presentation. Yeah. Come on, bro. You can see this. You don't need me to say this. You know this. Yeah. Look at it. What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass? Why are you out there cutting your own grass? <laughs> you trying to save money, nigga? You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut, huh? Let me ask you the this. The AC broken in the motherfucker. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I seen a Ross take a shot at you a couple huh? weeks ago about a girl that you're not even with no more. Oh, that's right. What is it with you and Ross that's just Listen, been going on for so long? I spent to see, right? Nothing else works for him yeah. outside of mentioning me. Yeah. When things get bad, you mention me, it gets covered for you. You see TMZ is a 50 cents said this is going to be bad for Irv Gotti's career. Yeah. I get covered across the board. Yeah. They get covered on the hip hop blog. It is what it is. Yeah. And you watch because I have nothing else to say. You just see it happen periodically. Yeah. As it goes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You see that big white elephant? Yeah. That property he lives at? <laughs> it costs more than the nightclubs. He's in the nightclubs. Yeah. We know what they can give you. Since these niggas count my pockets, I'm gonna go and let them know my next move. My next move finna be Thriller in Manila. Three. Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. Three. Once Tyson knock out Jake Paul, I'm gonna get Tyson and Holyfield to fight in my front yard. I'm gonna put a ring right there, and it's gonna go down in my front yard. I want the judges to be Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, academics. You hear me? The ring gonna be right there at the promised land. Thriller in Manila, the biggest.